Hey everyone, Heather here from Fasco Health, and uh, I thought I would share a real life experience with you, what just happened to me in the kitchen. Um, I have this new recipe that I'm trying out, and so I took out some hamburger earlier today, because I thought let's, let's have it be all thawed and ready to go, um, rather than having to thaw it in a hurry, which was awesome. Had a bit of time, so I'm like looking at the recipe, pimento cheese meatballs sounds pretty good okay and then we've got the pimento cheese part of the recipe and then we've got the meatball part of the recipe so I did not read every word apparently in the right order because I started with the meatballs because um, I assumed they were two separate things so I added the ground beef and egg together and uh, some salt and pepper and I made some meatballs and I started cooking them in the pan and then I'm like, okay, so let's make this uh, pimento cheese sauce, which sounds pretty awesome. And I, I start gathering the ingredients together and then I'm like, I guess it just goes on top, but like these meatballs don't have much flavor to them probably. So I don't know, I guess the sauce is gonna make them taste better. That's, um, that's all cool. And then I start reading the directions again and um, it says, start by mixing all ingredients for the cheese sauce or cheese, the pimento cheese in a large bowl, set aside for a few minutes. Add the ground beef and egg to the mixture. This is the part I missed, to the mixture of the pimento cheese stuff. That was supposed to be inside the meatballs. Oh well, my meatballs were already cooked and I'm like, huh. Well, we're just gonna like switch this recipe up and uh, we're just gonna put the sauce on top instead. So why I'm bringing this to you today is because I could have gone to a very dark place when that happened and a few years ago I would have because I um, used to be a super perfectionist and have a lot of negative thoughts around needing to be perfect and I'm a screw up and I can't do it right and all of those things. And so it would have taken me to a dark place and I would have been beating myself up going, God, why can't I read properly? I can't believe I screwed this up. I've just wrecked the whole meal. I can't believe it. And would have just gone into, you know, these actions of being mad, maybe starting a fight and I don't know, like, throwing the food out and starting all over and just like, it's like I've ruined everything, it's an awful day. But instead what I did is I'm like, hey, all the ingredients are still there, I still have all the ingredients, the hamburger is still good, we're just gonna put what was supposed to be in the meatballs on top. And so we did. And uh, I think it's gonna be awesome. And then I can make it again some other time mixing it into the meatballs and see what the difference is. So anyways, I'm bringing this to you because these are some of the tools that Pat and I have learned over the years to get more of what we want out of life. And these are some of the tools that we share with people in our class. And so I invite you to follow us here on Facebook, on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and click the link that's attached to this video to find out more about what we teach people, how we empower them to think differently so that they can get more of what they want out of life, more pleasure, more happiness, more success, closer relationships, and just feeling better about themselves and having a body filled with peace. So click on the link, find out more, reach out to us. Hope to see you soon.